I did actually want to get a shot of that. That thing is cool. Panther T6. For Hydra. So, two days at Granite Lake, awesome, a little bit of rain this morning, just from uh, like 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., but uh, everything was dry enough to pack up quite nicely, and I am off to Govan Lake, to try and find it yesterday, I think I found Site 10, which means I went past Site 1, so I'll keep an eye out for it, and I'm sure I'll find it. And off we go. Apparently the people coming here today know the group of kids that invited me down to the fireworks and stuff, so I left them a little message. It just says, you missed the fireworks, Steve. So I hope they can read it. It's not very clear. I just stick in the sand. But I think uh, I'm going to stop at some other campsites along the way and just uh, mark them out because Mrs. Ken Adventure could get her car down here no problem at all. She could go all the way to Govan Lake, so... Try and get her out here. So I'll mark a couple of spots so I know exactly where they are and I check them out and stuff. I've got some time to get there. There shouldn't be anybody at the uh, at the next site anyway. But if there is, they don't have to be out of there till noon. Wonder if I'll catch up to uh, Sean and Alicia, the newlyweds. That was awesome. It's uh, a couple got married. Well, I think they've known each other for a long time. Just got married. This is their honeymoon. They took uh, 43 kilometers of trails from home to get here, camping out. Last night they got the kids, decided one night with the kids was enough, <laughs> and uh, they packed off and packed up and took off just before me this morning. I got the feeling they're gonna be traveling a little bit slower, but I don't think they have far to go before they turn off and I continue straight. Follow the blue line since I mapped it out yesterday. <sighs> Trying to build up a bit of a map of the area. I like it out here a lot. Perhaps uh, Mrs. Ken Adventure and I can do our retirement plan out here somewhere. A small house out in the woods somewhere. Anyway, it's an easy ride to Go Van Lake, so shouldn't be anything really worth getting any video footage of. So as soon as I feel comfortable enough, to take a hand off the bar. Stop the camera, which is right about now. So this is Govan Lake, Site 1. Um, a little bit of a tour of the camp. There's where I've decided to park the bike. No particular reason. That was where I stopped when I got here, so that's where it's remained. A tent with uh, all my sleeping stuff inside and the helmet. Anything I want to keep dry. There's a little bit of a uh, kitchen area that was here when I got here. Somebody's put up some plywood tables and stuff. Uh, it's also a boot drying area. Uh, works pretty well. Weather report I last saw on Saturday, which was a few days ago, so it's quite possibly changed. So that uh, probably going to be getting some rain this afternoon into tomorrow. So got the tarp set up to prepare for that. Somewhere I can sit, read, listen to some music, and my usual chair for uh, kind of sitting by the fire and stuff. Fire pit, which coincidentally was left a bit of a mess by the last people that were here, but whatever. Um, so that's kind of the the medium stuff uh, we'll get to. Well, it's not really the bad stuff because it actually exists, so that is a plus. But uh, there is the privy, so I'm sure you can imagine, you know, this morning sitting there with bear spray in one hand, toilet paper in the other, and uh, good to go. But the, uh, the amazing spot, and you know what, I 
this makes up for the fire pit being a mess because I don't know who brought this and decided to leave it, but they are amazing because it just kind of, it really does make the site. The uh, site itself, fairly big, but uh, kind of rocky and rooty as you can see. So there's spots for a few tents, but uh, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose who sits where. But uh, yeah, that Muskoka chair on that little ledge out to the lake, that makes this entire site. It's amazing. I'm definitely, well, I say this about everywhere. I'm definitely coming back, but I want to find new places too, because I just went to Granite Lake Site 1, then I wouldn't have seen Site 2, which I now prefer over Site 1, and I wouldn't have seen this place either, so. Anyway, that's camp. Oh, there's my laundry drying. This little guy right there, where'd he go? There he is. Has been into my stuff ever since I got here. He's been a bit of a nuisance, but quite entertaining actually. I don't even know where he is now, but he's been into my rye. Like he's seriously dove into the cup. Um, he's been all over my gear up at the tent. He's been running into the fire pit when he really shouldn't. He's just been everywhere checking me out. But uh, yeah, anyway, I guess he kind of lives here. I'm just renting the place, so. This is my favorite part of the night, and tonight it happens to be at Govan Lake. So that's the end of the solo part of the trip. Five days, one night at Bon Echo, and um, the rest in the North Frontenac Parklands. Granite Lake and Govan Lake. It's a great time. Now I'm off to Pog Lake to see Mrs. Ken Adventure, Mr. F. And um, back to a little bit of civilization, I guess. Provincial parks, right? So one thing worth mentioning, Spot X apparently stopped sending and receiving messages for a period of time. I'm not sure exactly how long yet. Looks like I'll be getting rid of it and purchasing the Garmin instead. So if you're currently trying to decide between the two, I'm going to recommend the Garmin. Uh, what else? I am totally convinced I got a picture of some ghosts at Granite Lake. But, uh, Perhaps I'll get into that more some other time. For now, it's uh, off to Pog Lake. <laughs>